so bad. A doe came down right in front of that scrape and went up here to the right. I had like three openings to shoot this deer. Twelve's behind her. And he gets down and he's moving pretty quick. Obviously he's trailing her. And she gets up the hill here and he comes down in his opening and I stop him. I go bet. I stop him. 20 yards he's looking right at me. He stops with his vitals covered. I don't know what else to do. What's going on everybody? I, uh, well, let's start off with it is November 13th. I haven't really signed in much on this uh, update since November 1st uh, when I left when I was in Wisconsin. Um, give you an update on that. I have not harvested deer yet in Wisconsin. Um, I left for Kansas on November 5th. I've been here ever since. I'm in Kansas right now. Um, it is a whopping 30 degrees out. It's pretty chilly out. It was 25 out this morning. It's pretty cold for Kansas. Um, Wisconsin, I got some news when I was here in Kansas on November 8th. Super 12, the buck I was targeting, got hit by a car. Um, I, I spoke to the, the gentleman, the cop who got the deer. Um, he, you know, he's going to let me see it when I get back, which is cool. A little sad, obviously, that that deer got hit by a car, but he kind of he kind of went out on his own terms, I guess. He didn't get shot by a hunter, or nothing. He got hit, hit by a car by chasing for love, I guess. The rut, the power of the rut. So he is no longer alive. So uh, that uh, that that chase is over. What a bummer. It's November 14th, it's about noon. I just switched to a new location because I had a nice buck on uh, camera in here today. And I had a stand set up already, knowing I was gonna hunt here. But I literally just climbed up the tree and completely forgot my uh, camera arm. <sighs> so frustrating. So many hanging hunts that I forget where the stuff is. So I guess tonight it's just the GoPro, it's gonna be really crappy filming, sorry everybody. I still hope a good buck comes by and I can harvest them. And I hope you guys understand. It's part of hunting, part of self-filming. Literally tried stopping them and I'm never doing that again. It never works for me. At least not with my mouth. So back at it this afternoon. Oh well, it's uh, over and done with. This is insane. Wow, and I'm sitting out in the woods for hours. Wish we could hunt the campground. See more deer in the campground than we do out in the woods. It's always like that here, I think. 
decided this year I'm not sleeping in the truck. Um, even though I got a new truck, we're definitely not sleeping in it. So we brought a tent and we're doing the old camping in the campsite, primitive campsite with a tent. So we're just pulling in here. Let's see if Ben's back from hunting yet. I'm pretty sure he is. Well, this is it. This is home right here. Showing everybody what we're doing. This is home. We brought some cots this time. We got a light up there to keep us oh, focuses out. We got Ben checking out his uh, checking out his pictures from his trail cam. We got some homemade cookies from the wife's. Good stuff here. This is it. A little heater. Oh, this is life. Nice little Yeti. I can't even see anything, everything's blurry. came running in. These three does were eaten by uh, this white oak. This buck comes charging in. And they go in the thick stuff and I can't see him. And I just did a snort leaves with my mouth. And he pops back out and presents me a shot. Probably like 145 inch, 10, maybe 11 pointer. G2 buck came through, and this is the buck I came in for, a five-year-old deer. I think I might have hit him uh, in the shoulder, though. But he's literally laying over here like 50 yards. I, I think I might have got penetration. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep quiet, though. Super confused. Yeah, what's up? I shot the split G2, Mom. Did you really? Yeah, at the puddle. I didn't get him on film though. Like I, I but it didn't pick him up. It, like the camera takes a second to pick up. It didn't pick up yeah. till after I shot him. Well, that's all right. At least you got him. So that's wonderful. <sighs> um, I'm at Lynch right now getting my oil fixed. Yeah, no worries. So. It's but, all right, honey. But, but you got my, a lot of film of everything else. My trail so, cam, my trail cam did catch the arrow going through him. I'll send it to you. Oh, what time did he, he just come through? Yeah, just a minute through? ago, Mom. I just watched him die. Isn't that funny? I, I would have never I thought, thought he I, I thought I hit a little bit too much in the shoulder. Because the yeah. arrow didn't go all the way through, but then all of a sudden I see him stop and I could hear him uh, like gurgitating, and he's yes. he's dead 30 yards from me. 30 yards. I'm pretty sure. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. What's up, man? Hey, I just shot a buck. Stop. I did. I killed that five and a half year old uh, split G2 buck. He's probably like I don't know 150 inches. He was the only buck I've been. I can't believe I killed him, but when I turned the camera on, 
I hit record, but I shot before, like, you know, the camera takes a second to, like, get going. I shot, and he's out of frame. Oh, well, so what? I mean, you had the camera on. Was he, did he walk through the frame? No, he walked through my trail camera. I got a picture of my arrow on my trail camera going, and he died 30 yards from me. Stop, well, you got your camera on now, right? I'm talking to you with it on, yeah, buddy. <laughs> wow, I'll send you the buddy. picture of the trail cam picture real quick. It's so cool, yeah. shaking. Um, yeah, I'm done with Wisconsin, Wisconsin public land, baby. Uh, five and a half year old. Um, I'm so pumped for you. You just shot a 150 on public land. Yeah, I gotta you send you this me? picture. I gotta send you this picture. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Nobody kills big deer on public land in the southern part of the state, right? It's really hard in the <laughs> cattle, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, buddy. My tree is that skinny little one right there. And I'm facing this way. And this is the puddle, I call, but it has no puddle in it. And I shot him right here. Right here out of that little tree right there. That's the skinny little tree I'm in. So I shot him right here, tried to turn the camera on, but literally happened within like two seconds, and I think the camera got me uh, after I shot. I think you can see his tail right through the woods. Just did a little loop. All right, let's go take a look at him. You got a good main beam, huh? A little public land bruiser. Yeah, that's what I heard. He was gurgitating out of his mouth, so that's where all that blood's coming from. Very cool. He's got a big old neck. Wow. Sweet, sweet. It's, uh, I think, the 3rd of November. And uh, I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Kansas. And I really didn't want to have to wait till late season to get something here. So I had this guy on camera last night. And I decided to make a move and come in here and hunt where uh, he's frequently been in the past. So. Oh, super blessed. Cool deer. Not bad. Hopefully he spread some of his genes around here the last couple days.
Holy cow. November 15th has been by far my best day down here, like historically. Um, I've seen 11 bucks in nine does today. It's uh, one o'clock, but I'm freezing. My toes and fingers are numb, so I had to come back to the come back to the truck and try to eat these things up. I'm dying, but I do want to get back out there right away. But uh, anyway, just to give you like what a little bit of my morning was. I didn't do any interview. Um, I had just bucks right out of the gate as I was walking up the trail here in the snow. Um, a buck was walking at me on the trail, and I got down on my knees and quick took a video of him. It was pretty cool. And got my stand right away out of action. I had action all day. It's 1 p.m. right now, and it gets late here at 6.20. So, um, sat a long time. <clears throat> um, the last action I had, I just had about half an hour ago, I had a, a nice wide 10 come in and, and breed, uh, breed a doe. I got a little bit of footage of that, so that's pretty cool. But um, the 200 incher, the buck I call Gimpy, um, he was the second big buck I saw today. I, I passed like probably, I don't know, he's 145, 150 inch, 10. He's probably 150 maybe with a, he's got two kickers off his G2, he's gross. And I mean, I don't know if he's a three or four year old here, um, but he was a nice deer. I grunted him in and then once I saw that he was coming in, I started filming him. He came five yards underneath my tree. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, that 200 incher came from behind me and he was on two does and he pretty much pretty much just ran the whole way up. If the doe came down by me, I might have had a chance to stop him or something, but they were all through the top. I tried grunting. He didn't even look at it or even think about it. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll get back in the saddle here, back in the tree stand uh, a little bit once I get warmed up. Time to kill a big boy. Didn't see nothing the last three days hardly, just a couple little bucks, and today was just unbelievable. Best rug day I've ever had in my life anywhere out of all my 20 years of hunting. So it was cool. Stay tuned, guys. Passed on a good one. Dude had me shaking. Thought, uh, <clears throat> coming right where I thought he was gonna come. Had a big old wide rack, heavy, chocolatey. Um, I thought it was a buck I called Gimpy, but nope. Just a pretty big nine pointer with a, a nice little inside tine on his uh, right beam. Uh, I passed him. This is starting to get a little tiring, but I love it, so I'm gonna keep doing it, obviously. All right, good luck everybody. What a crazy night. I set the stand up at noon today. 
coming in here for uh, Gimpy. And about, I don't even know, 4.45, 5 o'clock, I had a doe come out to this little grass field and I was filming her. And then I had, uh, I heard a buck grunt and I had this big buck come out and came out 15 yards, 20 yards, 25 yards. I mean, he was in a great number of broadside the whole time and no idea I was here. Literally passed him. I think the deer is for sure four year old. Got to be 155, 160 inches. Had just a beautiful cage. Ugh, I'm sick. I normally wouldn't do this, but it t takes me to do that to try to get what I want. Um, the buck I'm hunting here, I guess, might be him or tag soup or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sick right now, actually. I don't feel good. goodness that happened so fast you guys <clears throat> um it's not gimpy i'm in a totally different area because i haven't seen gimpy at all he'll have to wait till next year i guess but oh, sorry it's all blurry but shot a buck i'm happy got it on film five yards five feet off the ground came right underneath my tree i smoked him <sighs> holy cow this is so cool what a year. This is day 14, November 18th in Kansas public. Holy cow. <sighs> Crazy. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> All right, we're out here getting the recovery on this deer I shot. Um, shouldn't be much of a drag or track job. It'll be a long drag, but uh, yeah, I watched him go down. You might be able to see my red arrow over there. My lighted knock. Um, there's a trail over here, I think. Not following blood, guys, because I saw him go down. There he is. Oh, he's already stiff. Nice buck. He's cool. <sighs> Heavy. Broken now. Pretty happy. Pretty, very, I'm very happy. Very blessed. So now comes the fun part. Um, let's just get him over there, Mom. We'll get a, I guess, a few pictures with him. So, now uh, you two are next, huh? Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> Lord willing. This is my hunting crew. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in a little while. All right, well, here's a little better look of him uh, in the daylight. Um, didn't have any history with this deer at all from any of the past years or even this year. Um, I guess I'll start back from when I came here on November 5th. Um, I wanted to target two deer that I've had here in the past. One I called Gimpy and another one I called Jack. Um, I went and set up on Jack right away, put in a couple trail cams to see if he was alive. And uh, the first day I hunted there, I uh, checked the camera and he came in that afternoon. I couldn't believe it. Um, so he's alive. He's a big six by five. It's a really cool deer. And then the other one, Gimpy, 
Um, he's about an hour and a half away, and I ended up putting a uh, trail can in for him, and lo and behold, I got him too, except for he was a mega, mega deer. Um, so I hunted Gimpy and Jack pretty hard, and I didn't get to see either of them really. I saw Gimpy one time chasing a doe um, up a ridge, and ran out of my life. I haven't seen him since. I had him on uh, trail cam a few times, but uh, pretty much just stuck to them two stands and uh, passed some nice deer, um, but didn't really see the one I was looking for. Um, I actually passed a buck that was probably, maybe not better than this deer if he was all put together. This guy's all broke. I didn't know he was broke. Missing a brow. He's missing a big G3 here, and he's missing another, looks like really heavy G4 that could have been out there, but oh well. Um, he presented me a five yard shot and I took him down. So, got it on film and I was happy. I was on my 14th day. So, pretty ecstatic about uh, being able to chase these awesome, awesome deer. And I also got to give a huge shout out to my wife. She lets me do this without even putting up a stink every single year. Um, I'm pretty much not around at all in November. Um, I'm really thankful that she lets me do this. So, yeah. That was my wrap for uh, 2022 in Kansas. I'm not so sure I'm going to draw next year, but I hope I do. And if I do, I'll be able to chase that big boy and give you guys some more footage. Um, I have a feeling he's going to survive. So, cool. It's a really heavy buck.